Now let's consider this question. That is WASI 2021, question number 13. Now the A is function and then the B is sequence and then series. Now let's see the A. A function J is defined on the set of real numbers R by. So here the function is defined by we have um, G of X to be equal to 1 plus 3X all over X minus um, 1. Where x is equal to 1, you know, when x is 1, this becomes undefined. We should find the, the first one, image of negative 1 under the function j. So the image of negative 1 under j, it means that when x is negative 1, what do we get? So you get that is j of negative 1. Whenever we see x in the function, we put negative 1 over there. 1 plus 3 x, what is the x? Negative 1 all over negative 1 minus 1. So what do you have? You have 1 minus 3 all over negative 1 minus 1. Now 1 minus 3, that's negative 2. Negative 1 minus negative 1. That's also negative 2. This is cancelling that, this is cancelling that. So we have our answer to be equal to 1. Now let's see the um, second one. It says that the value of x for which g of x is equal to 7. So we have g of x, this is equal to 7. What is the function g of x? The function g of x is giving us 1 plus 3x all over x minus 1, and this is equal to 7. By this time, we can write it as over 1. So what do you have? We can cross multiply. And when we cross multiply, what are we going to get? We get 1 plus 3x equal to 7x minus 1. We want to find x. We expand the right hand side. So we have 1 plus 3x equal to 7x minus 7. We group like terms. So we have 1 plus 7, negative 7 crossing becoming positive equal to 7x minus 3x. This positive crossing becoming negative 1 plus 7. That's 8, 7, x minus 3, x. That is for x. We want to find x. We divide both sides by 2. So 8 over 4. That's we divide both sides by 4. Um, 4, x over 4. This cancelling that 4, we 1, 4, we 2 times. x is equal to 2. That's very, very easy. Very, very easy. Now let's see the third one. Now the third one says that we should find the value of j of negative 3. So let's find j of negative 3. Now what is j of x? j of x is 1 plus 3x over x minus 1. So whenever we see x, we put negative 3 there. 1 plus 3. What's our x? Negative 3. All over x minus 1. What is our x? Negative 3. Just substitution. That's very, very easy. Now this is giving us 1 minus 9. 3 times negative 3. That's negative 9. All that we have negative 3 minus 1. Now, 1 minus negative 9, and this is just um, negative 8. Now, negative 3 minus 1, and this is just negative 4. Now, this negative is cancelling out the negative 4 where 1, 4 will go here 2 times. So, we have our answer to be just equal to 2. That is very, very easy. For a copy of the pen drives that in the books you are seeing, call the numbers right now. It is very, very affordable. Call the numbers now and you would never, never regret. You begin to love math because math is something that is very, very easy. I've explained a lot of concepts, very detailed, solve a lot of questions, especially I have in mind the weak students. I want you to understand the concept very, very well. Let's consider the B, part, the B part is sequence and series. Now let's consider the B question. What's it twenty twenty one? Question number 13. B. The sum of the first 10 terms of an AP, that is arithmetic progression, is 120. Now, what is the sum of an AP? Now, the sum of an AP is given us, that is xn to be equal to, that's n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1. Um, D. Now we are being told that the sum of the first 10 times is 120. So they've given S10 to be equal to 
120. So here our n is 10. Wherever we see n, we put 10 over there. So what do you have? That's 10 over 2. N is 10 to 10 over 2. Then we have 2a. N is what? 10 minus 1d. And this is just equal to 120. This will give us one equation. Now, 2 go here, 1, 2 go here, 5. So we have 5. 2a plus, now, 10 minus 1, that is 9d. And this is equal to uh, 120. Now, clearly, we can either expand using the distributive property. 5 can go into 120, so we divide. Now, let's see. Let's divide both sides by 5. So we have 5 over 5. We have 2a plus 9d. And then we have 120 over 5. Now, this is cancelling that. 5 will go into um, 12 how many times? That is 2 times 10, 20. So 24. So that's 2a plus 9d equal to 24. Let's say this is equation one that's very very simple now we have been told that if the fifth term is six less than the eighth term now you're going to do what the c term the c term that is if the fifth term if the fifth term fifth term so u of five we have been told is six less than the eighth term so that is u eight minus um, 6. If the fifth term, that is u5, is 6 less than the eighth term. Now we know the general term is given us, that is un is a plus n minus 1 um, d. Now what is our, so u of 5, n is what? 5. So when you put it there, here, what are we going to get? That is a plus um, n minus 1, that is 5 minus 1 d equal to, now let's say u of 8, so n is 8, we have a plus 8 minus 1 d minus 6, and this is giving us a plus 4 d, this is giving us a plus 7 d minus um, 6. Now let's bring this thing here, so you have a minus a plus 4 d minus 7 d equal to negative 6. This is coming in. Now, a minus a, that is 0. 4d minus 7d, that's negative 3d. And then we have uh, negative 6. You won't find d, we divide both sides by negative 3. So negative 3, d over negative 3, negative 6 over negative 3. This cancel that, 3 will cancel this. This cancel that, 3 will go here, 1, 3 will go here. 2 times we have d to be equal to 2. So d is equal to the first question which you find the common difference. So the common difference is 2. Now the next one says you find the first term. So i, that's the common difference, d is 2. i, i want to find the first term. So we substitute or we put d equal to 2 into our equation 1. Now what is the equation 1? The equation 1 is 2a plus 9d equal to 24. That is, we know it to be 2a plus 9d equal to 24. Now, what is our d? Our d is 2. So let's put d equal to 2 over here. This equal to 24. And clearly we have 2a plus 9 times 2. That's 18 equal to 24. Now, this has to move here. So we have 2a equal to 24 minus 18. So what do you have here? 2a24 minus 18 and this is just equal to 6. We want to find a, we divide both sides by um, 2. 2 go 1, 2 go 3. So clearly a is equal to 3. That's very, very easy. So the first term is 3. Now for a copy of a complete lessons on all topics, please call the numbers that we are seeing on the screen. You have the book, you have the CDs, and then also the pen drive. The pen drive is OTG, that is double-sided. You can either use it on your phone or use it on any USB device 
as well. Call the number right now, it is very, very affordable.